Isn't that crazy? You were talking about four and a half billion. That's a great deal, but um, uh, can you imagine that roof? What that would cost? I mean, that's unbelievable. It actually that's is the first time I've seen a photo of a house where you see the roof and you go, "That's cool." An estate type property when you're that private and you, and you have what you have. Okay, so five point seven seven acres. It is in mound. Typically, doesn't bring Excelsior type money because well, of I was going to say, is it, is it on the lake? We can't see. No. Oh, there you go. Yeah, level like short. I mean, you're going to get the same thing. I mean, obviously, this is uh, on the market. How long has it been on? 47 days? Sarah's a good agent. She definitely knows what she's doing. I think sometimes you have to uh, test it out because try to buy that lot and get that property right there. Easily over $10 million. Some cases, I mean, if that's over, that land's over in YZ. Well, that's what I was going to I was going to say, my, in my brain... Comparing the two properties across the lake from each other, this yeah. is obviously west of it, but it for sure the value yeah. here is, is you're getting value. The, the property alone would be ten million, and that's what a buyer's going to do. They're going to justify, hey, I'm I've got an estate type thing. I'm in Mound. I work out of my house. I mean, but coming from Mound and then kind of going around the whole lake, I mean, it just takes a little while. So thus the the values go, but. Staged very nicely, very impressive, nice stuff. That's kind of fun to me. The ceilings and the built-in woodwork. I mean, a lot of people might say, "Oh boy, you might want to um, clean that up a little and, and whitewash it." I don't know. I don't. I think you you kind of leave that. I think that's an individual's taste. Andrew, look at that. Yeah, I'm, see the road right off the back. I think I think it's up on a hill, and I think it's got access across the road or something though. I think the access is on the backside to the water. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So you're on the good water. Good spot, yeah. Mound is really tricky. I mean, if you haven't been to Mound, it's really sifting and flipping and flopping all around. Boy, doesn't that look different uh, an impression from the uh, aerial photo? But it's pretty cool. I always like those big circle driveways. Looks like that would have been a pretty hot property back in the 90s. A little, little dated, but it's, it's very nice condition, but it looks a little dated. Like you said, some of the style and the whatever is. The, but the price is. Oh, I mean, my God. It's a steal. I'm not really trying to that. toot their yeah. horn, but it's a steal. Isn't that crazy? You were talking about four and a half billion. That's a great deal, but uh, yeah, acreage on nice the lake. Place. I mean, granted, now most new, people that have the kitchen. Kitchen, um, that have money don't want to commute to to Mound. They don't want that extra forty minutes around the lake or whatever it is to get there. Yeah, I mean, you got new kitchens. You got. I mean, someone's gonna grab this one. Was it recently reduced, Nick? It was five million, wasn't it? It was four point nine five. Yeah. 2017 and sold for 2.8. That was really kind of before all the lake stuff started going really crazy, too. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, 17 was a crazy year. There was a lot of deals. And then obviously COVID just accentuated everything, especially on the water, because everyone wanted to stay on the water and no one wanted to sell. So the people that were selling, I mean, people were fighting for it. And so the prices just kept going up. That uh, you can hardly get for 4.5 million. You can hardly get a dock and Alex for that. <laughs> exactly. If you priced out new docks, they're ridiculous. I just bid one out. It was almost forty thousand. I'm like, you got to be kidding me for a dock. Yeah, it's it's one thing buying on the lake. It's the another thing putting all the toys and everything in to uh, support the lake. It was built in '89, but it's kind of a fun property that's not. Oh, well, they spent the fortune. Updated. This was like you said, Chris. This house, even over in Wyzetta, you double the price and they could get it with that kind of space. My God, if you're not driving to work every day, Mound is a great spot. Oh, I love it. My cousins grew up out there. We used to go over to Mound on the Vikings uh, for Vikings games and hang yeah. out. In yard it was great loved it 